Today we're going to do a really simple painting if we can and keep bearing in mind that it's got to be loose and very simple and less is more. That's one thing we must remember, less is more. So let's keep that in mind when we, when we do this painting. That goes for me as well. So I'll put a little border around where I'm going to and now we're going to just take a we'll take a square brush and then a size 8 and um, that's useful size 12 a rigger brush of course and we'll uh, see we'll pick up some blue cobalt blue and some uh, I will the blue with that. Go on, we'll leave it to that. Now, less is more. One swipe across, another swipe here. Some light red. Swipe across again. Don't have it too, as dark as I have there. Swap it out again, keep this through that cross. Get yeah, yourself a bit more blue, just do that. Put we'll it straight across, eh? Just take a bit of water out your brush so that this won't run down and go across. Like that. Fill that with them white patches in a bit. Now I won't go and do any more at that, you can add a bit of blue in this, but no we won't do that, no, just keep away from it. So dry that off. Now, we've done that, now keep it simple, like I'm just showing you. Now get some ultramarine, put in your well like that, and put some red, like, this is light red mix into it. A bit of light red into it, ultramarine. Now we'll put a little bit of cobalt in that because it's going to see it's a little bit light so we'll, we'll match it up with that a little bit. Now we're going to put, uh, we'll put a, a hill there. We'll keep it straight, I mean the, the bottom of it here straight, that part straight. The top, not too worried about that, just do that. There we are, see if we can get it on a straight line. That's it there. Now dry that one off. Now our next thing is to uh, put some land in here. So here we go. Now I'm just going to get some uh, Windsor Blue, yeah, on its own. I'm going to add some uh, Windsor Yellow with that. A bit of umber. A little bit of umber. And uh, we must have it weak, not too strong. So we'll put it here. Now then, up to here. Just swipe it across like that. Now that's your land area. This is your path. Now, now that's fine. Just fine. That's your path there. Going up and round back there. There we are. I leave that nice and plain like that.
So now just put this in with a bit of umber. Now we'll have to let it dry now. Now that's a shadow of a cloud there going across from that cloud. Now you can put yourself a few streaks in the road. Uh, left by wagons, and farmers, tractors, or whatever, like that. And what you can always do if you want to bring it forward, put a few. You can put a few grasses in your foreground here. I'll just show you what I mean. Now we want to keep this in the same. But just about here, what you can do is this, you can just do this. But you must let that come down here then. First. So, you will do, you introduce a bit more. Green, let me see. Yeah. Like that. I'll just take that up there. Like that. And that's it. But you don't always have to do that. You should have, could leave it with just as much left. So you don't do that. I would have brought that down a bit. If I was just showing you an idea, you wouldn't do that. No, leave that out. Anyway, we will put a mount on it and have a look what, what it looks like. Now it doesn't look too bad with a mount, does it? Well, there you are, friends. I could have made, done less, really. Done a lot less. Even if I never... If I hadn't put that tree in, it would have been a lovely little thing, you know, a lovely little view and scene. So you could quite easily do that. A very, very tiny farmhouse there would look nice, wouldn't it? Try that. I, you could put a couple walking down the centre there. Do away with the tree and this half here. This. And a little farmhouse over there. And that would be plenty. See, we, we go too far sometimes, don't we? 